Good morning, friends. This video looks a little bit dark because it's so bright behind me. It's a beautiful day. It's Friday. It is April 24th, and I don't have my calendar with me today, but it is the last day of the week. Friday is the last day of the week before the weekend starts, and our weekend days are Saturday and Sunday. So today we're gonna do something a little bit um, different. I'm gonna show you a little bit of science. And it's a really, really neat thing that I discovered last night. I was in my kitchen, I was cutting up tomatoes because I was making hamburgers for me and my husband. He was grilling hamburgers on the grill and I was cutting up onions and tomatoes and pickles and jalapeno peppers and all the things that we love to put on hamburgers. And when I cut my tomato open, I discovered something amazing, something I had never seen before. So I want you to think about a tomato. A tomato is a big round fruit. Sometimes we think of it as a, as a vegetable, but because the tomato has seeds inside of it, it's considered a fruit. So it is a fruit and it is a big round piece of fruit, and it is what color is a tomato usually? That's right, tomatoes are usually red. So I was cutting up a red tomato for my hamburger, and the seeds inside had started to do something amazing. I want to show you, I have a slice of it here that I saved for you, and I'm gonna hold it up to the camera, and I want you to look at, let me see if we can see it well. Yes, let me see if we can get that a little clearer. Look at the seeds inside the tomato. What did they start to do? Those seeds in the tomato started to grow. Let me show you the other side of the tomato. The seeds in the tomato started to sprout. They want to grow so badly into a new tomato plant. I think that's just amazing. Take a look again. I'm just fascinated by this. I hope it's clear enough for you to see those sprouting seeds in that tomato. Do you see? And so at first I thought there were little worms and it kind of freaked me out a little bit. But when I realized they were seeds, I realized how amazing that was because in the springtime, everything wants to grow new because it's been laying quiet all winter long. And these seeds inside this tomato know it's springtime and they wanted to grow so badly, they couldn't wait. Normally I would cut it up and they would just be seeds and I would eat them. I wouldn't think about it, it's just part of the tomato. But this tomato started to grow before I even cut it up. It was, it was pretty startling, pretty amazing. So I'm gonna take this tomato and I'm gonna toss it out into my yard because the birds would love all those little sprouts. Mm, they'll think they are delicious. So I'm gonna take my tomato and I'm just gonna toss it out in my yard for my birds. Sometimes I toss little pieces of bread out for them. Sometimes I toss little pieces of vegetables and fruits. And sometimes I just give them seeds. Their favorite kind of seed is sunflower seeds. And they peck at the sunflower seeds and they eat them, but sometimes they drop them on the ground and guess what they do when they drop them on the ground? Guess what happens to those seeds on the ground? Think about it for a minute. What happened to that seed in the tomato? It started to grow. So underneath the bird feeder, there's all sorts of little seeds that have fallen on the ground and those sunflower seeds, they start to grow and they get little leaves on them and then the rabbits come along and they eat them because they love that fresh, fresh plant. So that's sometimes why we put a fence around our yard or around our garden so the rabbits don't get in. But we don't have a fence. Excuse me, trucks. I'm trying to talk to my friends. We don't have a fence around our um, bird feeder. So everything just drops and it grows and the rabbits and bunnies eat the fresh vegetation and the birds peck at the seeds. I have a fun front yard. I love my front yard. So it is raining and even right now it is still sprinkling and I'm gonna be very quiet. Hopefully those cars will go away. I'm gonna to listen to the birds for just a minute. Can you hear them? Oh, 
I love sitting on the porch and drinking my morning coffee and listening to the birds and thinking about what I'm gonna do with you in school today. So I have a story that we've read in class before. It's um, a wonderful little story. It's a very calm story. Um, it has really, really sweet little pictures. So I want us to enjoy the pictures. And it is a lullaby from Thailand. And Thailand is a country on the other side of the world. It is our story called Hush. And you say hush, but say it gently. We're not saying it hush. We're saying it very calmly, like we're talking to our little kitty or our puppy or our little baby. So we're gonna say hush, hush. And the mama says, Hush. So let's start our story. And the inside is like, Hush. A Thai lullaby. And it is written by Ming Fong Ho. And that is a Thai name. And it is illustrated by Holly Mead. And the illustrator does what? draws the pictures and the person that writes it is called the author. Good job. All right. It says, hush, who is that weeping in the wind? And it looks like a mama and she's leaning over a little bed for her baby. A small mosquito. Mosquito, mosquito, don't come weeping. Can't you see my baby sleeping? Mosquito, mosquito, don't you cry. My baby's sleeping right nearby. She says to the mosquito, hush. Where's her baby sleeping? Do you see her baby? Hush. Who is that peeping from the ceiling? Chica, chica, chica. A long-tailed lizard. Lizard, lizard, don't come peeping. Can't you see that baby is sleeping? Lizard, lizard, don't you cry. My baby's sleeping right nearby. So the mama's saying to the lizard, there's the mama and she's saying to the lizard, Hush, and baby is sleeping right nearby. Hush, who's that creeping under the house? Meow, meow. A lean black cat. See our black cat. We pull this all the way back because you can see the baby's bed is right there. And the black cat is under the house and there's the floor that the mama is standing on. And you can help me read this. You know the words for this one. It's Remember, it says, can't you see that baby's sleeping, okay? Black cat, black cat, don't come creeping. Can't you see that baby sleeping? Black cat, black cat, don't you cry. My baby is sleeping right nearby. She's saying, kitty, kitty, shh, hush. Baby is sleeping. Baby looks like he's looking at that kitty. Looks like the cat is keeping the baby awake. Hush, who's that squeaking by the rice barn? And there's the barn. They keep all their rice in the rice barn. Hush, who's that? A fat gray mouse. Gray mouse, gray mouse. Don't come squeaking. Can't you see my baby sleeping? Gray mouse, gray mouse, don't you cry. My baby's sleeping right nearby. And here's baby. Baby looks like he's got his legs kicked out of the bed and he's just chilling out up there. And there's black cat and mama is saying, hush, can't you see my baby sleeping? Oh, it's not the cat, I'm sorry. That's the little mouse. We're on the mouse page, it's silly me. All right, hush, hush. Who's that leaping by the well? Or, or, 
Green frog, green frog, don't come leaping. Can't you see my baby sleeping? Green frog, green frog, don't you cry. My baby's sleeping right nearby. There's mama and she's gonna catch that green frog and she's gonna put him somewhere where he doesn't wake baby up. She sets him on the path. And she says, don't you cry. My baby's sleeping right nearby. Hush, hush, who's sniffling in the sty? A muddy fat pig. <coughs> fat pig, fat pig, don't come sniffling. Can't you see my baby sleeping? Fat pig, fat pig, don't you cry. My baby's sleeping right nearby. And there's the mama and she is talking to that fat pig. And look at, where's baby? Do we see baby? Way up there. Looks like baby's having a hard time getting to sleep. Hush, who's that beeping beyond the pond? Quack, 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 quack. A glossy white duck. White duck, white duck. Don't come honking. Can't you see my baby sleeping? White duck, white duck. Don't you cry. My baby's sleeping right nearby. And there is baby up there underneath the blanket and it looks like white duck has her own babies in the pond hush who's that swinging from the trees a loose limbed monkey 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 don't come swing swinging can't you see my baby sleeping monkey monkey don't you cry my baby's sleeping right nearby. And there's baby all the way up there. Hush, who's that sweeping at that hay? Ma, ma, an old water buffalo. Buffalo, buffalo, don't come sweeping. Can't you see my baby sleeping? Buffalo, buffalo. Don't you cry, my baby's sleeping right nearby. And there's baby, and he's hanging out of the bed, trying to get some sleep. Hush, who's that shrieking through the forest? Oh, oh, a great big elephant. Elephant, elephant, don't come shrieking. Can't you see my baby sleeping? Elephant, elephant, don't you cry. My baby's sleeping right nearby. So the elephant's walking away and there's her baby sleeping right nearby. And she says, hush. See her? Hush. Then we have a picture of all the animals that Mama had talked to and asked them to hush. And she is walking up the stairs into her hut. You can see all the animals in that picture. All is quiet. All is still, the mother dozes at the windowsill. Nothing stirring, not a breeze, as the moon drifts up above the trees. There is no noise now, there is no sound. Mama's so tired, she's getting some rest. And there's Kitty, Kitty's getting some sleep. And the moon is in the sky. Only baby's wide awake now. His eyes are bright and round. Mama was so tired she fell asleep and now baby's awake. And that is the end of our Thai lullaby.
I think this is a very sweet little story. All right, so today I think we're gonna have a Zoom meeting this afternoon. In fact, I know we are. I'm very excited about seeing you. Um, so this is Friday, our Zoom meeting is Friday. So if you watch this after Friday, our Zoom meeting will already be over and we'll have another one planned. Um, so I want you to have a good day. Enjoy the rain. They know it's raining and I know we can't go out and play in the yard when it's raining, but I sit on my porch and I listen to the rain and I listen to the animals and I look at my books and I read and I write. So I want you to enjoy the rain. It's a very pretty rain. It's a spring rain and it's not cold outside. It's not warm, but I'm just wearing a shirt. Actually, it's a dress, but I'm not wearing a jacket. So have a good day. Enjoy the beautiful day. This is our last day of Earth Day week, but even when Earth Day week is over, we still take care of our Earth. We still remember to nurture and love. To nurture and love our Earth. So enjoy your day. Sit outside, listen to the birds, use your listening ears, and I'll see you later.